Hi everyone, Major here. So, welcome to Squad. It's what the latest game the gang has um, decided to play. So, we'll go into the firing range. Well, let's have a look at the settings first. So, if you look at the controls, there is capability here for you to change the controls. For example, for moving, I've changed it to the number pad, uh, number arrows, um, fire use, weapons. You have the capability for a fair bit of um, flexibility as to what you decide to do in regards to how you control this game. Now we'll go just go to the firing range. All right, so have a look at that screen. That is um, a good prompts as to who to talk to. So if you look, oops, took too long. All right, we'll come back to that later. Let's just go into a spawn. So you can scroll in on the map to find out where the spawns are. So we've got three possibilities. We've got the one here, one there. Oh, just the two. All right, we'll go into this one and we'll have a look at some of the options there just to get yourself acquainted with the game. So here we are. Well, we've spawned right inside this little building. All right, weapons range to our right. Grenade range over to the left, just down yonder. So at any time, if you want to um, resupply, you get close enough, you hit F, and replenish your bullets. I won't go into the other uh, command possibilities at the moment. So down here in the live firing range, you can change to all sorts of weapons. Command of support. No, don't want that. Let's do it again. Rifleman. That will stay with the machine gun that we've got. So there's lots of different ways to change kit. Let's see if we can do that. No. Rifleman. No. Command and support. Squad leader. You can be a medic. And by going through the different buttons, you can do different things. Fire support. Automatic rifleman. Automatic rifleman. Light anti tank. Grenadier and marksman. So let's go marksman. Let's go and take the sniper rifle. So let's make sure we've filled up our bullets. We're good to go. Let's go down here and we'll hit crouch. And from the 50 meter range, quite easy to hit targets. So we'll reload. Fifty meters. We're actually hitting the sandbag, so I need to get a bit closer. All right, let's see how we go now. reload and then we'll look at some targets over to our right which is at the 100 meter mark but on the angle it's probably a little bit further so let's see if we can hit, ping a couple here always easy to hit targets when there's not firing back at you I must say but all right not too bad of a weapon all right so let's go and have a look at what else is on offer here to fire. Alright, machine gun, let's have a crack at this one. Oh, won't let me in, or will it? There we go. Alright, so we're locked and loaded. Let's have a crack. So our 
Alright, thank you very much for that play. And here we have it with the Browning 50 cal. I wonder what the kickback like this is on, like. Alright, let's go straight out to 100. It's coming out. That's power. And here we've got a similar machine with a gun shield. What we got here? Oh, let's just uh, make sure we've filled up the sniper rifle. Yep, always get in the habit of using the ammo crates when you see them. Oh, recallless rifle. Yep, got to have a play with this. All right, let's aim for that object under the 100 meter sign. <laughs> Lovely. Reload. Let's go for a target out to 150 metres now. And I think we'll go one more. Alright, let's try and put one through the window of that building. Beautiful. So all these weapons have their different capabilities. How to go similar to that? This is what I want to play with. I like mortars. All right, so let's turn this sucker around. This one's a little bit more complicated to use. All right, so on the left-hand side you'll see 50 meters range. The milli radian's got to be 1579. As I push the cursor up, you see the milli radians increase. So if we want to hit that object at 100 meters just to the left of the house so it's saying it's 100 meters so we need to be at 1558 to be near target Fifteen fifty, fifteen sixty. there's a three shell servo salvo sorry so well we've got to reload Fifteen fifty-eight is about a hundred meters. <laughs> All right, inbound twenty seconds. That's the average flight time. So when you're playing in a game, it's good to let the rest of the squad know you've got shells in flight, and we'll hear them as they come down. Alright, so we'll reload and see if we can hit this target right on the nose. So, 100 metres was uh, 1558. Let's come back a bit. There. The right. The left. And that was about 1557. So, there'll be a bit of variation. Hopefully, we get another good spread across the target. Shells in inbound. Wow, that was a good offer. There you go. So that's the mortar, the big mother. Alright, so we'll get out of that one. Let's go and have a look at these little 60s. Oh, sorry, 82s. Alright. Let's wind the sucker around and let's make sure we're loaded. We're loaded. Oops, hit the target crosshair. So we'll go for that. No, we won't. We'll do something a little bit different. We'll go for the target at 200 meters. So at 200 meters, we need 1557. All right. 
right, so now we're getting close, 1557. left, one to the middle, one to the right. Shells inbound, 20 seconds. And let's see where the drop is. So we'll reload. We'll have another crack. Alright. So medium said 15, 17. Oh, it was well out. I was the one out. So 15, 17 is about there. So we'll put one left. Right. Right in the centre. 20 seconds inbound. Downrange. Start to hear him now. Oh, might do one more. Like I said, I like my mortars. So fifteen fifty seven. Shells down range, 20 seconds. And we should start to hear them. Alright, so that's enough of the mortars. Alright, let's have a look up this uh, command tower. See if we can run up here. Oops. Alright, let's drop down. And from range, it's around about 100 metres. Let's see if we can hit some targets. Okay, reload. Alright, let's look at 150. See if we can pick off those two discs. Reload, we'll get up from here and we'll go back down. Let's have a look at some of the vehicles that you can drive around in. And the longer you get to sprint, the more you'll hear the guy puff, and eventually he's just not going to run any longer. Alright, here's the vehicle pool. So you got Humvees, BMD 2 by the look of it, right there, where is it, the BMD, there's the little BMD, so let's give it a try, jump in, let's take it for a spin, oh, push E to start the engine, and there's a set track, test track we can go on, so we'll go and have a look at the test track.
ramp while you're in transit. Probably a better idea to stop so you have a look see where you are. Right, so that's where we are. We've done about half of it. Let's get rid of the map. Let's go again. Jagged it. All right, let's turn the engine off. You'd have to get out. There we go. So that's a little run around there. Let's go and have a look at the uh, grenade range. Alright, 
So, to change weapons, you can either use the number bar at the top. weapon. Oops. That's what we're talking about. So, where are we? Let's get rid of the map. Left click to throw the grenade. Remember they have a minimum distance. Alright, let's just load up with another grenade. F. Alright, let's go to three again. Beautiful. Another grenade. Wow. Impressive. No more grenades. We only get the one. Reload. Clear out those three in front of us at the 25 meter mark now. Oh, missed them by a country mile. Well, obviously the kill radius is still pretty good. And one more for good measure. Try and take out those four dudes 30 meters away. Let's hit three. That brings up our grenade. Oh wow, not much of a throw. One step. No, missed everything. Right, one more try. Get a couple of them. Well, there you go, got all the what do I know about grenades. Alright, so there, guys and girls, whoever's watching this, this is just an introduction just to the firing range of the squad. You can experience the uh, different vehicles you can drive, uh, different weapons, different kinds of positions within the squad, whether it's a squad leader, medic, uh, combat support, grenadier, sniper, and plenty of targets for you to practice your marksmanship. So until next time, uh, it's goodbye for the Major.